and welcome to your gun markets update on charts of interest for today friday the 25th of november hope you're well hope you're looking forward to the weekend and let's have a look at what's coming across the news today of course wall street was closed last night for thanksgiving day it's a half day today on black friday markets open for around about three hours so likely to be low volume and possibly high volatility but we'll see what happens european markets closed higher that's what asia is taking its lead from today uh, but one of the major drags on the market is the China COVID situation, which remains a concern, seems to get worse. We are now recording 31,000 new cases yesterday, which beats April's Shanghai spike. I'm dragging down particularly on the material stocks today in the ASX. US futures are positive, but move little since yesterday's European market close. And Asian indices are mostly high, but very cautious on the back of that China COVID situation. The ASX is up around 0.25%. European equity markets are suggesting a cautious open later. Futures aren't suggesting much of a move from the close, but it might be when the US market opens that we see some movement in Europe also. US dollar index continues to move down again, tested the 200 EMA as we speak. It's weaker again today in Asia and doesn't look as though there's much buying appetite. Be interesting to see if the Fed comments from Wednesday prior to Thanksgiving Day will put further downwards pressure on the USD as a follow through. Gold is trading over 1750 and around the 200 EMA and oil continues to test key levels to the downside. Copper is neutral after a couple of positive days and the VIX is down for the week and near that three month low level. Slightly to the upside today as markets pause to see what's going to happen next. Bitcoin's near neutral yesterday after a small recovery following sell-off not much movement in asia either one really to stay clear i would suggest on the data front not a lot out today but what is out could be important we've already had japanese cpi which is supporting the yen a little bit that was hotter than expected german gdp is interesting and will be impacting on the euro along with german consumer confidence let's have a look at a couple of charts which are catching our eye on the fx front you can't go past the USD at the moment. Here's the USD yen daily chart. You can see another retest yesterday of 138.67. Just about managing to hang on to that in today's trading. If we just look at a shorter time frame just to see where it's at. You can see we did test it through the night. Uh, so if you're looking for a potential tradable opportunity, there are one of two ways this could go. If we breach 139 to the upside, uh, this could suggest possibly uh, some short cover. We might get a rally up towards 140 but more likely i would suggest is a move down so if we breach this sort of 138.50 could sit down to 138.00 in no time at all on the asx west farmers looking interesting they breached their 200 ma at the start of the week and have moved up to this resistance at around about 49.13 pushing through that looks interesting could be a medium term position up to around about 51 in the first instance uh, that's also one to watch going forward. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.